I mean by we all have this imposter syndrome of mm-hmm. like oh, do I really belong here do am I saying things right um so do you go through this and if you go through these how do you what do you tell yourself to to get past those things yeah it's it's a it's a great great topic um and and you know we i kind of went through that a little bit not just outside but even outside of work but even in work right when you're in a consulting kind of environment right and you're 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 parachuted in to to a client in an area that you probably don't know much about but you have you know it's a short term you know 3 to 4 month kind of burst mm-hmm. of things that you're doing and you just have to quickly absorb and then create new things, right? Um, so I've often found myself questioning, like, you know, what am I really doing here? Do I even know this area? Am I supposed <laughs> to be here, right? And I think this is where it comes back to being assured on what you're really good at and finding ways to bring those things out into uh, mm-hmm. into creating value, right? Wherever you go. Mm-hmm. Um, but that that being said, um, you know, the I, for me, I think it is. So I having the opportunity to to do dabble in a few things, whether mm-hmm. it's on on the the personal front or professional front, it makes it enriching to me that diversity in 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 what I learn and mm-hmm. even if I fail, um, mm-hmm. you know has has creates more lessons for me that I can then use and and hopefully inspire mm-hmm. other people around. Right? Um, I, I I agree with the imposter syndrome um, kind of argument there because. Um, there are times when you feel like, oh, you know, everybody else is doing this. Maybe I should be doing the same thing, right? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Everybody 